Here's the deal. Ultra-wide lenses can be an awesome tool for photos and film, but there's one thing that you really have to understand to make the most out of them. Before we get there, let's define what an ultra-wide lens is. On a full-frame camera, an ultra-wide lens is typically anything wider than 24 millimeters. But it's not that simple because a 24 millimeter lens wouldn't be considered ultra wide on a crop sensor camera. Whether or not a lens is an ultra wide really depends on the focal length of the lens and then the size of the sensor, which in turn determines the field of view, how wide the camera can see. A simple rule of thumb is that a lens is an ultra wide if the focal length is shorter than the shortest side of the sensor being used. So. On a full frame camera or a 35 millimeter sensor, the shortest side is 24 millimeters. So any lens wider than 24 millimeters would be an ultra wide. Or in an APS-C sensor, where the shortest side is about 16 millimeters, anything wider than 16 millimeters would be an ultra wide lens. Yeah, I know, you get it. So what makes these unique? What is that caveat that you need to understand to make the most out of them? Perspective distortion. Perspective distortion. It's this really unique quality of ultra-wide lenses that make nearby objects seem closer and bigger, and distant objects appear farther away and even smaller. Let me stop here for a second, because perspective distortion happens with most lenses. With telephoto lenses, we call it compression, where the foreground gets closer or appears to be closer to the background. An ultra-wide lens is just unique because it adds this different layer of depth. It pulls in things that are really close to the camera, making them look bigger and a little stretched out. And it pushes away distant objects, making them look smaller and farther away. Perspective distortion also stretches the edges of the frame, creating these leading lines that draw the attention into the center of the frame. This can be super handy in composition, but can also make things look a little weird. Great. So this expensive lens makes me look fugly. Yeah, probably not best for portraits, but if you start to understand perspective distortion, you can really use it to your advantage. Here's some examples. You can use that pull in foreground objects to really stretch and emphasize your foreground and then use that, that push of the distant objects to make a scene seem really expansive. And don't be afraid to use that stretching distortion on the edge of the frame awesome for landscape photography. And I think every real estate photographer knows that you can do this with landscapes, but importantly, you can also make interiors or architecture seem really grand and massive, even though they may not feel that big to the naked eye. Ultra wide lenses can also be great to exaggerate motion or movement in film nearby objects will really fly by the camera with just a little bit of camera movement. And there's one thing that you have to remember to be able to use this to your advantage. And that is that you've got to get the camera close to your subject, closer than you're comfortable with. Seriously, get closer. But now that you know how to use it, you should remember that it's kind of a flaw. The way that it pulls lines in to the center of the frame and the way that it distorts near and far objects can make it really hard to have lines be perfectly straight. So take a second look before you compose your photos with an ultra wide lens. Make sure everything's straight. Make sure you're squared up to whatever object you're trying to get a photo of or take a video of. And then don't disfigure people. This isn't a great portrait lens. You can absolutely use it, but know how you are so that you're not uh, stretching limbs in any sort of weird way. I really hope this video helps you master your ultra wide lenses. If you've got any tips or tricks, please put them in the comment below. I'd love to hear more. And if you like this video, if you did find it helpful, please like and subscribe. I've got more like this coming. Thanks. <laughs>